open Ajna center. If you have your Ajna open, it's also called your mind, then that means that your head center will be open as well. The center is all about conceptualization and processing the information that we receive through the head center. Sometimes we can feel uncertain and not know what we should think about or how to formulate our opinions and judgments, which means that we will solicit our, our certainty to other people and take on their beliefs, judgments, and opinions. So let's begin. Taking full responsibility for my well being. Even though I see all angles of certain situations and issues and it feels overwhelming, I choose to deeply and completely love, honor, and accept myself. Sometimes I feel the need to be certain and share my opinions. That's what a good person does. And still, I choose to deeply and completely love, honor, and accept myself. Sometimes I don't know what to think. It's just easier if I look to experts to tell me what I should think and how I should feel. And still, I choose to deeply and completely love, honor, and accept myself. Sometimes I just wish I knew what to think and how to feel. I start thinking about something in one way, and then in the next moment, I can see another perspective. What am I supposed to do with this? In these polarizing times, it feels important that I voice my opinion and take a side. That's what a good person would do anyway. I put this pressure on myself to figure it out and have all the answers. Because it's important to have all the answers and have an opinion. That's what I'm supposed to do, right? I recognize that my mind is a powerful technology. Sometimes I like to make decisions from my mind. But often these decisions don't feel quite right. What am I supposed to do when I continually make decisions from my mind? I'm trying to release the notion that I need to be certain. When I think about it, certainty isn't real. We live in a world of impermanence. When I go on social media, everyone has their opinion. When I watch the news or talk to friends, everyone shares their judgments and opinions. I should share my judgments and opinions too. Because then people will know who I am and I need to prove myself. By sharing my opinions and judgments, It's actually a way for me to manipulate how other people view me. Because when I stay in integrity and truth, I recognize the beauty in my mind and that it can see different perspectives. 
This doesn't mean that I don't have my own beliefs and values, but it means that I don't need to share my opinions and judgments with the world. I give myself the gift of sitting back sometimes. I give myself the gift of being able to process information in creative ways. I know that my strategy and authority are important to my well being. When I take on other people's certainty, it gives me a false sense of grounding. But what if their certainty isn't actually my truth? I never thought about it like that. We're only as good as the information we have. And as a human on earth in this transitionary time, there is a lot of new information coming forward. And so when I feel overwhelmed with how to feel about new information and what to think about this new information, I pause. I don't need to have an opinion here and now. I don't need to share my judgments in order to be a good person. It actually feels better when I don't talk about other people and what they're doing. Sometimes though, I still should myself. I should know what to do. I should know what to think. I should be certain. This is outside pressure and energy that I am translating through this open center. When I'm out of balance. And so when these voices and tones of judgment and negativity go on in my head, I observe them for what they are. I use them as an awareness tool. Awareness that I don't need to claim these thoughts. Awareness that I don't need to have a fixed way of thinking. There is beauty and empowerment in my creative process. And so I surrender. I surrender to not needing to formulate fixed opinions and judgments. I am in service to myself, my soul, my community and world when I lean into my openness and my unique creative process. It's so tempting to get sucked into being judgmental and opinionated. There may be a time and place for this. And of course, I do have my own opinions and judgments but I don't need to stay in this lane all the time. I have an open mind. It's empowering to have an open mind in a world of fixed opinions. My thinking process is not linear or logical. 
When I remember this truth, I feel a sense of ease in my body. I feel a sense of ease in my mind. The pressure seems to dissipate. And so I choose to remember that my mind is a gift. It's a beautiful technology. It's not the enemy. I can befriend my mind and my thinking process. And I can use its creative powers. And when I use it for the greater good, I automatically align my energy. And so it is, and so it shall be. Take a deep breath and repeat as needed. I hope this helped to relieve some of that mental tension and build up that we sometimes get in our minds because we feel pressured to have the answer, to be certain, and share our opinion in this world of polarization and intensity. So thank you for being here.